Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video I want to teach you how to register your private name servers for your reseller account. If I click on the screen here and I go to our reseller packages, all of our packages come with free and white labeled name servers. Now in years past many web hosting companies would charge a, a premium service for this, but we feel like every reseller should be 100% white labeled, meaning your customers will never see Name Hero, they'll never know you're a reseller. Um, for all they know, you have your own cloud infrastructure, uh, which you do, and they will use your private name servers that you assign to them. So this is true for any of our startup, corporate, entrepreneur customers, or any of our customers that have our VPSs. So all of our reseller packages, all of our visa, VPS packages have private name servers. Now, those of you that are not familiar what a name server is, let me go show you an example. If I do a reverse lookup on Name Hero, and for this example, I'm going to use the domain tools um, who is database. So I'll go to whois.domaintools.com slash namehero.com. And if I scroll down here, you can see under name servers, we are using justin.ns.cloudflare.com and marjorie.ns.cloudflare.com. At Name Hero, we're using a full Cloudflare integration for our main website. So this is the name servers that we are using. Now, our customers, they all use ns.namehero.net. Now, this starts at ns1, and it goes on up to like ns40, ns60, um, so therefore, and so on. So if you're a, a basic web hosting customer in Name Hero, you're probably familiar with this. And I'll actually show you an example here. If I go into my um, example client account here and click on cloud web hosting, if I navigate over here to keydiets.com, you'll see that Key Diets is using ns31.namehero.net and ns32.namehero.net. So if I go put this in to my um, who is database and I paste this into the Name Heroes domain, whoops, then I will return namehero.net. So this is a way that it just looks more professional when the customers you host are using your private name servers. So in this example here, keydiets.com, this would be a customer. You can see that they are under Name Heroes web hosting, and this is um, what it looks like. You can see these specific name, um, name servers host 1,900 other domains across it. So I'm going to show you how to set these up in your reseller hosting account. So what I want you to do, if you're following along, I'm going to log into my account. And if you're on the main page here, you just hover over here and click log in. And once you do so, I'm going to go to the main dashboard, which is right here. And I want to click on my reseller package. So I'm going to go back to cloud web hosting. And I'm going to click on reseller hosting US corporate hero. That's the one I'm going to demonstrate with. Now, if, if you're in your account, you probably only have one or two packages depending on um, your services with us. I'm using a demo account, so I've got several different ones in there. So if I scroll down just a little bit, you can see here are my private name servers. In this case, ns1.resellerhostingus.com and ns2.resellerhostingus.com. Now, if you ordered your domain with this at Name Hero when you ordered your reseller account, it's likely our order processing team has already set this up for you. And if even if they don't set it up, they always go through and make sure that they are correct because we used to get a lot of support tickets regarding how to set these up. So nowadays, if you order your domain with Name Hero and you order a reseller account, we're going to check and make sure they are set up correctly. And if they're not set up, our order processing team is going to go ahead and do what I'm going to demonstrate for you. But nonetheless, it's still important to know how to do this. And of course, if you beat the order processing team, then you know it's, it's always a good thing too. Um, so what I want to do is I need to register these name servers um, in the same interface that the domains registered. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. If you're coming to Name Hero and your domain is not registered with us, this happens quite often. Let's say your name is registered at GoDaddy or Namecheap or somewhere else. Well, then you have to go into their interface and register your name servers with them. So basically, you're telling them that you're going to be using custom name servers and you tie in these name servers with these IP addresses. Now, for security, obviously, you have to do these at the registry of the domain name. So this is why I always recommend to new customers of Name Hero, if you're a new customer, please either register your domain or transfer it to us because it's going to make this process really, really simple and easy. If, you, if you'd say, well, Ryan, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep my um, domain at GoDaddy and I'm going to use your hosting. Well, you know, we appreciate your business, um, but you have to go navigate through GoDaddy's interface and it's a little bit confusing. They do have articles though. You can Google um, register private name servers GoDaddy uh, if you're using Namecheap, um, how to set up private name servers at Namecheap. 
and they do have articles, but in my opinion, their interfaces are just a little confusing. So at Name Hero, you go to where the domain is registered. So I'm going to hover over domains and click on my domains, and I'm going to look for reseller hosting US, which is right here. And on the right side, I'm going to go to private name servers under manage. So you're going to see it right here under manage. And right here, register a name server. Um, we have to enter the name server name. So in this case, the first one's going to be in NS1. I'm going to go back over here. And this is the IP. So I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it. Save changes. The name server is successfully registered. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second one. Copy that, NS2, paste that, save changes. Okay, now that they have been registered, and I guess I already had my second one registered, now I have to update my domain to use them. So I'm going to click on Name Servers. And you can see I'm using ns1.namehero.com and ns2.namehero.com. I'm going to update this to the ones I just registered. So I'm going to copy this. Oops. paste here and then we're going to make this one ns2 dot and save okay so now my name servers have been changed they've been registered and updated so now it's going to use these now the final piece of the puzzle is i need to make sure these are set up correctly in webhost manager so i'm going to go back over to my reseller account and i'm going to click log into whm now I want to go to DNS and edit DNS zone. I'm going to click on reseller hosting US, click edit. And you can see they are. There's ns1.resellerhostingus.com. That should be at the first line here. If I go on down here, I should see under NS, ns1.resellerhostingus, ns2.resellerhostingus. And I should scroll down here and I should see A records, NS1 and A record for the IP here. And it matches this IP. And then NS2, NA, and it matches here, .34, .34, and click Save. So now I'm good. My name servers have been registered. My domain has been updated to use those name servers, and I verified the zone file is correct. So now if I'm going to add a customer, now remember the other day on our YouTube channel, I talked about how to add a package. Before I can add a customer, I have to have a package in here. So the other day I was doing a video where I showed you how to set up a package. And you can look up on our blog how to set up a package in Web Post Manager, and you'll get um, that full tutorial as well. But I want to add a customer, and let's say I want to add, um, let's say, let's just call it um, resellhero.com. Reason name resell hero, generate a password, and we want to put them on our unlimited package. Going down here and create. Now, when I create this account, in order for resellhero.com to use the hosting, they have to use these name servers at their at their domain registry. So wherever resell resellhero.com is registered, um, if that's my own domain or if that's a customer, they have to go now update their name servers to reflect my reseller account. And then, if we want to go ahead and verify that everything's in order, we can look at the DNS zone for Resell Hero, and you can see the DNS zone also matches that. Now, here's a quick, a quick way to make sure everything is correct. One of the first things our support team does when they're troubleshooting an issue is they're gonna look at the DNS connection of the site and the server, because most of the time that's where an issue lies if the site's not connecting, especially right off the bat. So I like into DNS, you go to into dns.com, and I like to put in the domain, so in this case, resellerhostingus.com, Click report, and you're looking for red. There's no red, all good. There's some yellow here. Um, it looks like there is a wrong IP for NS2. NS2, it says for NS2, the parent reported. Okay, that's just because I just updated this recently. So same glue, we can ignore that. As long as there's no red, you are all good. We also have a tool at Name Hero called dnshero.com. You can take that, put your domain in it, click report. We're looking for red, 
no red. We're all good. So I like to use both into DNS and DNS Hero. Sometimes they'll report differently, and so I, I always say two's better than one. So I like to run it through here and just make sure there's no red, and then that makes sure that everything is set up correctly. If I do see red, then I want to go back into here, my web host manager, and look at the DNS zone to make sure I have set up everything as intended. So that's pretty much it. That's how you set up your name servers, is you have to go to your domain registry, wherever the domain is registered, and you have to input ns1.thedomain and the IP, ns2.thedomain and the IP. Once they're registered, you can then use them, which means you can go over to the domain and you can change um, the name service to actually be used, like we did here. And this is true if your domain's registered at Namecheap. You have to go register the name servers, then update the domain to use the name servers. Same with GoDaddy or any other registrar. Um, as I said, I personally prefer that if you have it registered at Name Hero, it's super easy because you just you do it right here in our interface. And our support team can also, our order processing teams can go through and check it. Our support team can help you. If your domain's registered somewhere else, they have to say, well, you have to raise a ticket with them. Or sometimes um, they'll ask our support team will ask you to provide your login. Some customers don't want to give up their login and it, it just turns into a kind of a headache. So it's super easy if your domain is registered with us at Name Hero. If it's not, I recommend transferring it. Um, then it's all pretty um, straightforward to set up. So that's going to conclude this video. Let us know if you have any questions on registering your name servers. It's a pretty simple process. It just often gets overlooked by some people. As I said, our order processing team is going to make sure um, that it's done correctly. But all of our reseller accounts and all of our VPSs come with free private name servers. So thanks so much for watching. Um, if you're watching us here on YouTube, we'd certainly appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got um, hundreds and hundreds of videos on reseller hosting, on WordPress hosting, on VPS hosting. We have playlists set up. So subscribe to our channel. This is the first place that all of our videos goes. So you're going to be updated the second a new one goes online if you subscribe. If you don't subscribe, then you're kind of relying on visiting every once in a while or um, you know checking Facebook and stuff like that. So I just recommend to subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, of course give us a thumbs up if you like the video. So thanks so much for watching and using NameHero.com.